So first thing I'm going to start out with is a face cast and I'm going to be using chocolate wrapper foil just to cover it but if you don't have chocolate wrapper foil then you can use ordinary kitchen foil. The reason I'm covering the face cast is because of the mixture I'll be making. If you're mixing water and then flour to stick together the tissue on the mask then you won't need to do this but because I'll be using PVA glue which is slightly more flexible and it's just a method I prefer, it sticks to the cast so I'll be covering it with foil so that I can actually get it off at the end. Once you've ripped several strips of kitchen tissue, I'm going to be taking PVA glue and mixing it in a dish with a little bit of water. Make sure that this is really well mixed together. Once I've mixed the water and the PVA glue, I'm going to be taking some kitchen tissue strips. I'm just going to start applying them all over the foil. Now if you want one thing you could do is mark out the shape that you want on the foil just so that you have a rough idea but I'm just going to make it really roughly and just apply a very basic shape and then show you how I adjust it later. When you're doing this don't forget to really cover the edges for example around the eyes especially on the nose because that area does get a lot of pressure and around the edges and overall you want to apply about six to ten coats. Once I'm done I like to cover it up with gesso or modeling paste the modelling paste is slightly thicker so it's very good for covering the tissue if you've got a lot of lumps and bumps but the gesso is slightly thinner which overall I kind of prefer because I quite like that tissuey texture. Once you've left it overnight to dry you should be able to just peel it off. Now we're just going to cut it up and neaten it up on the edges. My favourite way to do this is just to look into a mirror and then with a pencil just mark out the areas which I need to cut out so that both sides are symmetrical. And then once you've done this, just cut out the areas you've marked. And one of my favourite ways to get those little tricky corners, especially like the inner corner of the eye, is just to use a nail clipper because it makes it much easier than using scissors. Make some holes in the side, put an elastic band, and that's it. You're done.